mesenteric lymphadenitis mesentery is a tissue that connects the intestine to the wall of the abdomen this tissue also has lymph nodes the lymph nodes are part of the immune system so they get inflamed when there is some infection in the mesentery Mesenteric lymphadenitis refers to any specific self-limiting inflammation of the mesenteric lymph nodes. It is considered present if a cluster of three or more lymph nodes, each measuring 5 mm or greater, is detected in the right lower quadrant mesentery. This process may be acute or chronic, depending on the causative agent. It causes a clinical presentation that is often difficult to differentiate from acute appendicitis, particularly in children. When we see the pathophysiology, microbial agents gain access to the lymph nodes via the intestinal lymphatics and they subsequently multiply. Then they elicit varying degree of inflammation and occasionally separation. This depends on the virulence of the invading pathogen. Grossly, the lymph nodes are enlarged and often soft. The adjoining mesentery may be edematous with or without exudates. And if a contagious primary source of infection, for example, the appendix is present, Evidence of inflammation is offered appeared. The most common cause of mesenteric lymphadenitis is a viral infection such as gastroenteritis, often called stomach flu. So the most common etiologies are viral, such as Epstein-Barr virus, adenovirus, and enterovirus. From bacteria, the most common etiologies are Yersinia, followed by Campylobacter jejani and Salmonella. And parasitic etiology such as Intamiba stylotica can also cause mesenteric lymphadenitis. There are also rare causes which can be inflammatory uh, and also neoplastic causes such as lymphoma, colonic carcinoma, and other carcinomas. The clinical presentation includes abdominal pain, mainly right lower quadrant, but it might be more diffuse, fever, diarrhea. Malaysia, anorexia, concomitant or antecedent upper respiratory tract infection, and nausea and vomiting are also present. Although no set of physical findings is pathognomic of mesenteric lymphadenitis, the following may be found in affected patients fever, flushed appearance, right lower quadrant tenderness, which is mild, with or without rebound tenderness, unlike that of appendicitis, voluntary guarding rather than abdominal rigidity and rectal tenderness and also rhinorrhea may present. Hyperemic fernax is also present if there is viral causes of uh, upper respiratory tract infection uh, as a risk factor for mesenteric lymphadenitis. Associated peripheral lymphadenopathy is seen in around 20% of cases, mainly cervical. Other conditions to consider in the differential diagnosis of mesenteric lymphadenitis include Meckel's diverticulitis, secondary mesenteric adenitis of infection origin, intestinal duplication, tuberculosis, intussusception, and malignancy. The most important imaging that is used to diagnose mesenteric lymphadenitis is ultrasonography. Ultrasonographic demonstration of mural thickening of the terminal ileum plus mesenteric thickening is indicator of regional enterites. CT and MRI is also used to uh, demonstrate enlarged mesenteric lymph nodes. And also they are used uh, to exclude other differential diagnoses, especially acute appendicitis. Complications of mesenteric lymphadenitis include volume depletion and electrolyte imbalance in patients with diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting, abscess formation, rarely peritonitis, and sepsis. When we see the treatment, inpatient care is indicated for patients with complication. And when the diagnosis is not clear, admission for observation may be necessary. General supportive care includes hydration and the pain medication after excluding acute surgical abdomen. Patients with mild and complicated presentation do not require antibiotics and the supportive care generally suffices. Only hydration and the pain management is adequate for mild one. Empiric broad spectrum antibiotics may be used in moderately to severely ill patients and those antibiotics should cover your senior strains. Acute mesenteric lymphadenitis is a self-limiting disease and requires supportive care with hydration. 
Surgery is usually indicated in separation or abscess formation with signs of peritonitis or if acute appendicitis cannot be excluded with certainty. An appendectomy should be removed in view of tendency for recurrence of lymphadenitis and the difficulty in differentiating adenitis from appendicitis. The prognosis is overall good. Typically, complete recovery can be expected whether empirically or uh, medically managed. This is all about mesenteric lymphadenitis. Thank you for watching.